it's the month of forgiveness, getting closer to God, Allah, and just the whole spiritual a- aspect of it. We read the Quran more, we try to be better persons, break bad habits, develop better good habits. We do a lot of donations. Um, we fast, of course, and just a lot of more prayers. My ideal day would be to wake up at around 5, 5.30ish um, and eat because that's the last hour that we can eat. Um, eat as much as I can and then pray the first prayer of the day. And um, what I'm going to try and do is stay up until I have to go into work and then come back home, um, help my mom out, maybe prepare some food. And then at around um, 7.30ish, that's when we break our fast. So it's kind of like um, a reset button. When Ramadan comes around, it's like, okay, let me try and, and be the best I can be. Let me try and be as as giving as, as I can be um, to charity, to um, family, to, to everyone that you that you come across. And it, I think it's the beauty of all getting together and breaking your fast together. Yeah. We started with a small prayer asking God to accept our fasts and we just eat until we feel full and then we go pray. Yeah. And but, everything tastes so much better. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't eaten all day. You're like, oh, I want this and I want this. And oh, yeah, that first sip it. of water is one yeah. of the best. You feel <laughs> grateful for what you have. Yeah. In other years, um, we've seen some public iftas organized. Is this something that uh, is on the cards again? Do you know? It yeah. is. <laughs> we'll be publishing soon the tickets. I do advise you book as soon as possible and get yourself some tickets because they run out quickly. One of our pillars in Islam is to give uh, zakat, to do charity. So during Ramadan, is we do a lot of it. And that's why also for the public iftar, we raise money and we donate it to charities of choice that we pick each year is going to be a charity that's different Uh, and related to the charity work not necessarily ramadan but you've done a lot of work um on the um, morocco earthquake appeal marrakesh earthquake appeal um tell us a little bit about that and and the fundraising and, and the work done on the ground there as well we're doing a lot. We still are working with them. We're working currently on uh, creating a classroom for because loads of schools were damages and they were using tents. So we want to create like a proper classroom that they can uh, use for their education and everything. And we're also working on creating a well. We are still waiting for the approvals so that they can have some water to drink. But it was honestly impressive, all the public support that we got. I think we raised over £10,000 in a week and a week and a half, I think. It was amazing and we really appreciate all the support that we got from the community. I mean, I suppose um, um, you guys would feel very close to Morocco because um, I I imagine that you've got family and friends living there. But uh, I think it, it, it sort of really showed that Gibraltar generally feels close to Morocco and, and, and there was a, sh- a strong outpouring of, of support and, and, and love no? following that event. It was beautiful Definitely. to see. Yeah, we're neighbours at the end of the day.